I think I want to get my plug installed for my generator and then I can have an idea of how long of a, of a wire I need to get to my panel. Uh, so that's going to involve drilling into the stone, which I didn't want to do, but it's permanent and it's got to be done. So let's grab that box. So here's the box we're going to install. This came with my uh, transfer switch and this will allow me to plug my 50 amp from my generator into this box on the outside of my house. And then this will be hardwired straight to that uh, transfer box. That way I can disconnect the generator if, if we're not using it. We want to use it somewhere else or probably won't even leave it plugged in uh, until we actually use it just to protect the, the cord. So um, we're going to have to take this apart and uh, we'll get, once we get this mounted I'll have an idea. We'll use some uh, conduit to go in through the house. Catch. That's all we've got inside. So when I'm ready to wire it, I can just take off these screws from here, pull this out, attach it just like you would, you know, any extension cord plug. And, um, you know, I've got my four screws to mount this to my house. So I'll go grab a marker and we'll get this thing, uh, get this thing marked. So my generator is going to sit about here, Some plugs on the bottom, that way water can't get in. Come out of the house about here. So I want to give myself enough room to get in there with the plug. So I'm thinking maybe about here and then I can... So we got our four pilot holes. Uh, now we'll drill our, our pilot holes with our concrete screw and then we'll get, uh, get that thing mounted. Drill bits, screws. That's installed, that's not going anywhere. And as you can see, I'll be able to plug in my generator here, run a short line to my generator shed. That'll sit about here. And then I've still got room to come in with my conduit into here. I might just buy that rigid flexible stuff and make my life easier. Well, the sun is out, so it's not too bad. It's still cold, but uh, I heard there's some hot chocolate ready. So we're gonna go and get some hot chocolate, take a break, and then I'm gonna come out and do some chainsaw stuff. Start planting some seeds here. Yeah, so we got Maybe not like today, but the next couple weeks. No! We have a, every kind of squash you can imagine. Okay, great. So where are you? Kitchen table seeds. Our local seed provider just down the road. Yes, on the island. Kitchen table seeds. They're amazing. Yes. So there's not much else I can do right now with the generator. I'm waiting waiting for some parts to come, mostly the wire to connect it. Um, so I think I'm gonna uh, get out here and get, fire up the chainsaw, kind of kind of walk through. There's a couple trees that are down that I can chop up and, and uh, bring them over to the house and, and get them to start being seasoned. Um, the other part of that is I really want to kind of go through here and, and in summertime it's so dense in there there's so many bushes and there's a lot of land in there where we can uh, kind of run some animals through hopefully raise pigs in there or goats and just do a bunch of, of, of other things so um, I want to get in there clean up some of the dead trees use them for firewood or fence posts yeah clear out some brush if I can so I'm gonna grab the chainsaw we're gonna go over there cut some more firewood bring it over to the house Test out our new wagon that we got. Gotta bring my gas can too. So this tree here, this one fell down that storm we had, uh, you know, a couple weeks ago. So I think we'll just kind of clean this one up, take off these branches, 
Uh, this tree here is still good, but kind of just leaning on it. So yeah, we'll go through and clean up what we can here. All right, well, we got a, quite the firewood load today. There's still lots to, to harvest, but you know, this is this is enough for now. Um, it's getting almost supper time, so um, yeah, we, we had a good day. Tomorrow, we are going to probably build some soil block trays. It's almost that time where we need to, to think about starting our plants. Not quite yet, but, but soon we'd like to be ready for it. So thanks for watching. See you later, guys.